In this video, we will discuss editing surface lines. If you'd like to follow with this video, please open the file editing surfaces lines.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. Most surface edits are done by selecting the surface and choosing the appropriate surface edit from the contextual ribbon. Before performing edits, some surface edits require that the style display the triangle and points of the surface. So let's go ahead and create one. Let's navigate to the Settings tab, Surface Category, Surface Styles. Let's go ahead and start with this one called Contours and Triangles and we'll make one called Tin Editing. Right click on it and choose Copy. We'll start in the Information tab and we'll call this one TIN Editing. Let's just go to the Display tab because all we care about is displaying the triangles and points. So first we'll select everything here and turn everything off. Click in Space here again and we'll just toggle on Triangles and Points. If you want to change this for the model view as well, you could do the same thing. Let's go back to the plan view. Now we really want these to stand out. So I want my points to be on a color of yellow. And I want my triangles to be a color of red. Click OK. And now that's how they'll be displayed. Even though they're set to a layer, we're overriding the bilayer property. Now let's navigate to the points tab for a second because this is how you define what the points should look like. So if you want an X, a plus sign, etc., simply click over here and you can tell Civil 3D what you want those to be. Go ahead and just click the plus sign. That's good enough for us. I do not recommend you have it scale automatically. Just pick some default size in absolute units and just go with that. Click OK. Now let's change our surface to use that style. Very quickly, we can just do this by clicking on the surface, navigate to the Properties palette, and choose that new style that we just created. And there is our new surface style being used by this surface. So in this section, we want to talk about how to delete lines and what they refer to as lines, meaning triangles. So you're always going to have erroneous triangles like let's say this section here and this section here. So let's look at how you can actually remove those. We'll go ahead and select the surface. And in the Modify panel, we have the Edit Surface dropdown. Let's simply click Delete Line. A quick way to do this is to simply do a crossing window like so. Make sure you get the right triangles and then press Enter. It deletes them and you can keep going. You can also use the Fence option. So type F and then Enter and that also will allow you to select triangles and get rid of them. We'll just keep going. Last section here. Select those. Press Enter. And now we're done. Once you're done with your command, press Escape and Escape again. The beauty of all this editing functionality is that they actually will live in the surface. So you don't have to worry about undoing or exiting the file. Those surface edits are all stored in the Surface Properties Definition tab. So we can toggle them on as we need to, remove them, and so on.